Introduction In Greek, angiosperms, angion means a case, sperma means seed, are characterized by the enclosure of the ovules within an ovary or plants with encased seeds or covered seeded plants. Yes, they are the most dominant plants of the present day. There is a wide range in the structure of higher plants. In Greek morphology, morphos means form and logos means study, deals with the study of forms and external features of plant parts. When we observe a plant, then we see that every plant has roots, stem and leaves. Plants also have flowers and fruits. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Define angiosperms Find out various parts of a plant Define morphology Find out characteristics of roots Study types of root systems Study different regions of roots Identify modifications of tap root system Find out modifications of adventitious roots Study modifications for vital functions. Understand functions of roots. Roots Root is the underground part of the plant. It is mostly brown. Root is positively geotropic, positively hydrotropic and negatively phototropic. The branches of root arise from inner region, so it is endogenous. Plants bear lateral roots of several orders that are referred to as secondary roots or tertiary roots. The primary root is the direct prolongation of the radical in nearly all dicotyledonous plants. Root is protected at its tip by a protective structure called root cap. In aquatic plants, there are root pockets for balancing. Root bears unicellular root hairs occurring in cluster for the absorption of water and minerals. Types of root system There are three types of root system in plants. Tap root system Fibrous root system Adventitious root system Tap root system the root which develops from radical along with its branches is termed as tap root. Secondary roots develop from tap root. Example, carrot. Fibrous root system. In monocotyledonous plants, the primary root are short-lived and are replaced by a large number of roots. These roots, which develop from base of the stem and constitute the fibrous root, Example, wheat. Adventitious root system. In certain plants, root arises from places other than radical. Such roots are called adventitious roots. Examples, grass, monestra and banyan tree. Regions of the root. The longitudinal section of the root apex shows following four regions. Root cap region, region of meristematic cells, region of elongation, region of root hairs, region of maturation. Root cap region. The apical region of root is covered by a protective structure of thin walled cells known as root cap. The cells of root cap secrete mucilage which lubricates the soil through which the root has to grow. Root cap also helps in the movement of root in the soil. Region of meristematic cells Actively dividing cells from a small region called apical meristem at the root tip. Quiescent center is located in the center of this zone which is made of inactive cells or cells having low cellular activity. Apical meristem of root tip consists of three zones. Dermatogen, outermost layer of cells which make epidermis and root cap. Periblem, it lies inner to dermatogen. Its cells form cortex by division. 
pleurome. It is the innermost layer of cell of the apical meristem to make steel. Its cells divide to form phloem and xylem elements. Region of elongation. The cells of this region absorb water. They elongate in the region of elongation. Region of root hairs. The cells of the epiblema prolongate to form unicellular hairs. This zone takes part in the absorption of water and mineral salts. Modifications of roots. To perform functions other than absorption and conduction of water and minerals, roots in some plant change their shape and structure and become modified for support storage of food and respiration. Modifications of tap roots. Tap roots get modified into following types. Fleshy tap root, tap root with or without hypocotyl becomes swollen due to storage of food. Such root is of four types. Fusiform root. Such root becomes thicker in the middle and tapering on both ends. It assumes a spindle shape. Example, radish, raffinus sativus. Conical root. It is broad at the base and gradually tapers towards the apex, giving it the shape of a cone. Example, carrot. Nappiform root. It is swollen at the base and tapering abruptly in the apical region, giving rise to a top-shaped structure. Examples, turnip, brassica wrapper, and sugar beet, beta vulgaris. Tuberous root. It is swollen irregularly. Example, four o'clock plant, mirabilis jalapa. Branched tap root. Sometimes the tap root gets branched and branches modify to perform various functions. Such roots are of the following types. Nodulated roots. In this type, the tap root gets variously branched and at the junction of branches, many small irregular swellings called root nodules arise. They contain a large number of symbiotic N2 fixing bacteria. Such roots occur in legumes. Example, Rhizobium leguminosarum. Respiratory roots. They are also called breathing roots. These occur in swamps or marshy places where soil becomes waterlogged and roots of plants do not get enough air for respiration. The secondary roots of these plants growing negatively geotropically into air have lenticles. They are called respiratory roots Pneumatophores, examples, Rhizophora and Sonoratia. Reproductive roots. In some plants, tap roots or their branches develop adventitious buds for formation of new plants. Examples, Dalbergia sisu, Populus, etc. Turnips and adventitious roots of sweet potato get swollen and store food. These are called prop roots. Modifications of adventitious roots for storage of food. To perform functions like storage of food, mechanical support and some special or vital functions, adventitious roots get modified into following types. Tuberous roots, fasciculated roots, beaded or moniliform roots, nodulated roots, Annulated roots. Tuberous roots. A single indefinite shaped root arising from nodes of weak stem. Example, sweet potato. Fasciculated roots. A cluster of tuberous root. Examples, dahlia, zeulia, asparagus, etc. Beaded or moniliform roots. Root swollen at regular intervals like beads of a necklace. Examples, potilaca, Indian spinach, bitter gold. Nodulated roots. Root swell at their tips. Example, mango, ginger. Annulated roots. A series of ring-like swellings. Example, ipecac. Modifications of adventitious roots for mechanical support. 
Prop Roots Pillar-like root arising singly from one point of horizontally growing branches and growing vertically downward. Example Banyan Still Roots Thin, thread-like small roots growing obliquely from the basal nodes of the main stem. Examples Maize Sugarcane Screw Pine Climbing Roots Thread-like roots arising from nodes and internodes and surrounding the support. Examples Beetle Black Pepper Money Plant Poisonous Ivy Buttress Thick roots that flare out from the base of large canopy trees often found on rainforest trees that provide support as well as additional nutrients. Examples Salmelia, Old Banyan Tree, etc. Contractile roots Roots having wrinkles and can shrink. Examples Saffron, Jimmykand, etc. Floating roots Thick, spongy, fleshy roots with air-filled air chambers arising from the nodes of stem. Example, juicier repens. Leaf roots. Root produced on the injured margin of leaves. Examples, bryophyllum, bignonia, etc. Modifications for vital functions. Epiphytic or hygroscopic roots. A special kind of aerial root hanging freely in the air and possessing a covering of dead spongy tissue known as velamen to absorb moisture having no root cap and root hair. Example, Vanda rocks bergi, etc. A similitary or photosynthetic roots. Green roots capable of photosynthesis. Example, water chestnut, gursha, etc. Parasitic roots or hostorial roots or suctorial roots. Roots penetrating the host with the help of hostoria. Example, dodder. Mycorrhizal roots. Roots associated with fungi. Examples, cheer, birch, etc. Root thorns. Roots modified into hard pointed structures. Examples, acantheriza. Pothos, etc. Reproductive roots. Roots bearing vegetative buds. Examples Trichosanthes, Ipomeo, etc. Functions of roots. Anchorage. Roots fix the plant in the soil. They also provide mechanical support to the aerial parts against gravity and wind. Absorption of water and minerals. Root hair zone of the root is specialized to absorb water because the thin-walled tubular root hairs are able to pass into fine interspace of the soil. Minerals occur in very dilute concentration in soil water. Roots are specialized to absorb the same partly in the root hair zone and partly in the elongation zone. Conduction of water and minerals Water and minerals absorbed by the rootlets are conducted by the various parts of the root system to the shoot system. Holding Soil Particles By their branches and mucilaginous secretions, the roots bind the soil particles against forces of erosion. Hygroscopic Roots Young prop roots of banyan and epiphytic roots are specialized to absorb water from damp air. Nitrogen fixation. Nodulated roots of pulses and other legumes contain nitrogen fixing symbiotic bacteria of rhizobium species. They increase the protein content of the crop plants. Aeration. Pneumatophores take part in exchange of gases in many mangrove plants. Knee roots and prop roots of these mangrove plants also help in aeration. Storage of food materials in roots. Normal roots store small quantity of nutrients. Certain roots are specialized to retain a large quantity of nutrients because of which they swell up. Examples Radish, 
turnip and beet, sweet potato, asparagus and dahlia, carrot, oches, mango ginger, mamotica, ipcac. Mechanical support, clinging. A number of climbers possess one or more adventitious roots for clinging to the support. Examples, beetle, tecoma, ivy. Hostorial roots. They occur in parasitic plants. The roots penetrate the host and withdraw water, nourishment or both. Examples, cascata, viscum. Release of oxygen. Roots of rice and some other amphibious plants release oxygen that overcomes the reducing environment for functioning of various microorganisms and availability of minerals. Photosynthesis by roots. Roots of trapper, tinospora, teniophyllum, and podostemum are green and photosynthetic. They synthesize organic nutrients for the whole plants. Reproductive roots. Many roots can develop adventitious buds and take part in vegetative propagation. Example, Popola, Dahlberger, Dahlia, Sweet Potato. Protection by roots. Root thorns and root spines present in certain plants are protective devices against animals and excessive loss of water. Mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza are roots having symbiotic association with fungi. The fungi help the roots in obtaining water and minerals. Did you know, when root pockets are once lost, they can be regenerated. Root cap is continuously produced from root apex. Podostemon is made up of only roots. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Flowering plants vary in habit, habitat, shape, size, structure, mode of nutrition and lifespan. The plant body is mainly divided into root stem and leaves. The stem bears flowers and fruits. The stem is aerial part and root is underground part of a plant. The root system is of two types, tap root or fibrous root. Tap root is found in dicotyledonous and fibrous root in monocotyledonous plants. In some plants, root is modified for storage of food, mechanical support and respiration.